Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Made Every Day. Today, I have a gift for you. I'm gonna show you how to tie the perfect bow around a box. It's flat in the back, the bow hangs straight, and it works every single time. So let's do it. When I was in high school, I worked in a chocolate shop. And the first day on the job, we had to learn how to tie a bow around a box of chocolates. It took me a little practice, but I was amazed at how perfectly it worked every time. There was none of this excess ribbon flying everywhere, or when I went around the back, there wasn't some wonky knot that was making my box not lay flat. And when I tied the bow, it didn't randomly flip up to the back side. It was perfect. And the other great news is that when I untied it, there were no knots, which meant I could practice again or reuse the ribbon for something else. So let me show you how it works. Start with your box and your ribbon, and you don't need to cut your ribbon any length yet. We'll do that at the very end. This might feel a little awkward at first, but once you do it a few times, you'll get the hang of it. Start with your ribbon overhanging on the left side, about eight or nine inches, and hold it in place with your left thumb. Then what you wanna do is lift your box and pull the ribbon around horizontally so that it comes up right underneath there. Then, keeping your thumb right there, pull it around to the top of the box, like that, and pull it straight underneath. If I flip this over, you can see, nice and flat under there, and then pull it up to the middle. Now at this point, I wanna use my left hand to kind of shimmy the whole thing to the middle, just like that. You can see what's going on here. Then I wanna tuck this part diagonally up and over, and I pull it through right down there. What I've done is made these two tie pieces on a diagonal like that. And that's great, because I can actually let go. If I need to grab something, my kids need me, I'm gonna put something in here, I can walk away for a second. Now we're gonna tie the bow part. You wanna start with whichever side is up, so the left here. And that's true for any time you're tying a bow. If you want your bow to end up straight and not start to flip and be all wonky, start with the higher end first. So make a loop with your left hand, then take your right string, go around that loop, stick it through, and then what you wanna do is kind of flip this back over, adjust your little bow pieces, and then pull them tight. Just like that. And cut your string off. And then just make a few little adjustments. There you go. Perfect on the back, perfect on the front. Now let's do it again, real time. Okay. Starting there, around, up at the top. Shimmy it over, tuck, and pull it tight. Make my first loop, around, make my second loop, and pull my bow tight. Just like that. Now if you wanted to add a little treat or something fun in there, I might be giving this as a gift to my friend who loves to cook. So I'm gonna give her a little wooden spoon, place it right there in the middle. You could place a piece of candy, a pencil, a little flower, or something like that. And then you can just tie your bow right around that. And it's sticking right inside. Now let's clip the ends. And there you go, pretty simple. Just takes a little practice. For more ideas and tutorials, visit my website, madeeveryday.com. See you next time.